Hello everybody, uh, welcome to part 28 of my Desert China series. Just a quick acknowledgement and apology for how the last segment ended. Uh, my phone started ringing, it was after business hours. Um, I hadn't received a phone call I had been expecting from my attorney, which I was not expecting at that point in time, because it was after business hours. Um, and I looked at the timer and saw it said 40 minutes, so I just thought the best way to take care of everybody is, uh, was to just take the call. So I appreciate your patience and understanding as far as that goes. Now, to get back on track to where everything is, we've got three cities looking for construction projects and we have finished archaeology. So a new dimension of the game has opened up. Um, and also the museums are a requisite for the broadcast towers, which are a culture expander in all of our cities which we're looking at outside the capital, 9, 7, 12. So not the greatest, not the worst. Um, you know, in the city of 9, plus 1, plus 33 percent would be, you know, 1, would be closer to like 4. Um, and right now we're doing 290, so is that a lot? Not really. But um, if we start housing great works and stuff, you know. So anyways, uh, we're at a kind of an impasse what to do. Um, I think our military force is such that we can just kind of stay strong. If you look at the global politics and stuff, yeah, I do want to tackle on Rome, um, but there's going to be a window of uh, waiting for the friendship to, you know, fall off. 21 turns, that's pretty large, actually. Um, we can beat up on Brazil in the meantime as a result, but I don't want to take on a backstab because we do have multiple... Uh, coasts and you know multiple friends I guess what I'm getting at is that um, we could make do at our current position militarily and just you know turtle up and do go into space um, that's not my intention I want to have some fun with planes maybe some bombs nuclear bombs stuff like that but we have to wait for that to drop off anyways what I'm getting at is in the meantime um, ideology unhappiness is real um, so I definitely want to address that by picking up some artifacts and things of that sort. Um, and then after biology, we can head into uh, nuclear fission, or maybe we go satellites. I don't know. Um, but we'll definitely get into radar, because with the oil that we might we find and mine up, we can probably start getting planes going, that kind of thing. So, yeah, we still have options. We're not actually tied into any one thing, and it's it actually kind of feels good. But the one thing we're lacking is uh, tourism. we got to get that ideological unhappiness off of our back. So in the capital, I definitely want to build an archaeologist. We can spit them out very quickly. Um, as far as the expands, I'm kind of torn. Do we go an archaeologist and then go into museums? Do we go into museums straight away? I do know that Shanghai now has a better hammer count um, than Guangzhou, uh, slightly, and it's further ahead in terms of build. You can see we've already built a zoo here. So, I mean, broadcast towers are a bit of a commitment. I don't know how important I consider them to be at our current trajectory. Um, Policy-wise, I mean, we're doing okay. We could get a free tech at some point. We could do the spaceship parts if we want to go spaceship. But other than that, um, you know, what would we get? Uh, we're doing okay on workers. So we were looking at this because of, you know, the pyramids, but we should be fine. Um, philanthropy I was looking at, you know, obviously. So, yeah, I don't know how much we need the culture, but the tourism I would definitely like to rack up. So I think I kind of just convinced myself, let's do archaeologists first, and then maybe in the expands we start building museums while the capital just spits out archaeologists after archaeologists. We'll probably chase the ones outside of our borders first, you know, get the artifacts dug up, and then, because I'm not sure what an antiquity site into a landmark improvement. Well, let me, uh, this is something I should be doing off camera, but... Let's just uh, take this journey together here. I've never... A landmark is a magnificent... Blah, 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 blah. Landmarks provide one culture for each additional era that has passed in comparison to the original era of the artifacts. So it's just pure culture. And we don't really need pure culture. I've already mapped out, you know, what technologies would be... Or policies would be worthwhile. We're actually fine as we are. 
So I'm not really interested in artifact and antiquity sites for their culture yield. And also we don't have anybody beating down our door as far as that goes. Because if we look at Rome, uh, China is exotic. And let's go back to China. Rome is unknown. But we're working on that. We're going to be getting... Um, yeah, we're going to be working on that. We're getting our tourism up. And who knows, maybe we take a first grade musician and just do a rock concert. I don't know if that's what it takes to get the happiness going. All right, let's land inside Monaco because we can get to the other coast in one turn. And they're our allies, so this is like free. All right, let's move these guys. This is a foreign legion, so we will go ahead and move him to the front. All these guys move to the front. Wow, that's some serious mobility. Nice. Cool. All right. Uh, I like where he's at. I like where he's at. We got good spread on our units as well as... Oh, look at this guy standing in the way. Okay. I was going to have this guy come down and help with uh, this guy to do the rails down here, but um, since the Iroquois worker's in the way, let's go turn, interrupt, and then we can get on that plan next turn. Um, I do want to leave this city connection up until the city actually burns down, simply because you can see there's... Uh, you know, 11.6, uh, 11 and a half gold per turn. Might as well keep racking that in. So we basically have these two workers here that can pretty much take care of everything we need out this way. So I think it's probably time to get an, this worker going. Well, uh, he can move all the way to here. He can move all the way to just ahead of the city tile. He can move past the city tile. So let's get him going over there. He can make it further, and then he can take his place. There we go. Um, what would we even need to do out here? I'm not sure. Probably restoring that would be worthwhile. Um, but other than that, you know. Okay, so you just heal up there. Alright. So our happiness is such that we could easily sell this stuff off, I think. Um, the ivory for sure, because we're just going to get it right back. And we don't have gems right now, and we're going to get some when we capture Rio, which should be next turn. So I'm confident we should be able to sell both of these off. Salute. Let's see, 163, that's just Vini over 5, so we'll do 2. Yeah, that's 223, should be good. Vabbing. And then him will get to full value from. Okay, there we go. Next turn. Sure. All right, so Poland is coming in full force. It's interesting that he wanted to shoot this guy. He's uh, clearly stronger, but whatever. All right. So, um, we just got an antiquity site into our borders. Oh, okay, over there. That's fine. Guangzhou grows. Uh, we're already working all of the growth tiles. We're already working all the slots, so yep. We'll just do max production. Um, actually, let's do production and gold. Because that's, what, two hammers for three gold? We're doing fine on hammers. Ah, whatever. Hammers are more important. We're blinking plenty of gold. Sugar and copper come back. Okay, so happiness is... I didn't even realize that was going to happen. Um, Buenos Aires. Something about Buenos Aires. What did it say? Horses from Buenos Aires, okay. The musket men from before. Okay, so Buenos Aires. It's pressure off of him. That's good. Um, Alright, so we were looking at this. Horses from Buenos Aires. Uh, no longer friends with Lhasa. Alright, so Pachacuti makes friend, uh, peace with Valletta and Cape Town. Oh, because, yeah, we're not at war anymore. Okay. Beijing is ready for a new construction process. Another archaeologist. Okay. So now this is... Oh, look at this. Um, let's see here. Uh, at war with the Inca. You suppose that's coming over for that reason? Um, let's... Do we have open borders? What do we do? Let's get in their way. Let's make this challenging for them. In fact, it might be worth moving units up here. Mountain, mountain, mountain. With four units, we could block the Iroquois. 
in a meaningful manner. Because we got all these Gatling guns coming over and they really don't have anything useful to do. Most of what we're doing down here is already sorted out. The artillery have kind of taken their place. Um, so, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Yep, change of plans. I don't know how far he's willing to go to get around that kind of a blockade, but let's use this mountain wall to our advantage. The main thing here is that I know he's got a city over here, but if the day comes where we do go to war, I don't want it being with his units, you know, strewn across my lands, blah, blah, blah. Um, and the Inca are way over here. Like, seriously, the Iroquois could just as easily sail and land over here. And, yeah, they don't need our lands to do that. So. Um, he will restore that, I suppose. He can, what? Everything is restored. Um... Because ivory is a luxury, there's a good chance that we get it. It stays in Cusco's borders, but last I knew it was considered T1. So let's just move this guy up to... Well, let's come down here and rip this up, because it's in our borders now. And then we can head back and do that, because we got a couple turns here. Uh, Forge was next, I believe, 30 and 1. I mean, this is a wide uh, visibility pattern, but we'd be able to see some food around anything worthwhile. So we'll just get him in the water so he moves quicker. Right, so this whole plan was sidetracked. We were looking at antiquity sites. There's one up here that's nearby that doesn't belong to anybody. Because you don't want to go digging in other people's lands or else there's an incident and you got to answer for it, yada, yada. And this might go into their lands eventually. So let's let's get this guy over there. Yeah, I forgot they moved so quick. Okay, is that Iroquois worker out of our way? He is. So let's go ahead and do this like we were planning on. Um, and now he's finished with that tile. He can do this tile. Okay, so we'll get rails all over there. Um, this worker was also coming over? Really? So that means this worker can actually skedaddle. He will do that spot. Um, this worker is also looking for a project. So that means this one finishes there. This guy comes down. We get started on that mine like we were talking about. He can wood leapfrog. So let's stay on the road so we take advantage of the bridge and the mobility. So maybe he's not going to work on the mine here. One of these will do the road here, the other one will do the mine here. He can come do the mine down here. Alright. Fortalitza. Okay, we cannot take it with that alone, so we do have to put a shot in it like that. And there we go. We get that city. Um, we can start selling stuff off observatory, really. Maybe I should have looked at the city first. Um, four citizens, though. No, it's not worth it. All right, what do we get for some... Oh, we don't get to sell that. Okay. 30 and 2. 62 and 2. 40 and 2. So 62 and 2 seems better. Yep. Okay, we're just going to burn that to the ground. Unfortunately, having to put that one artillery over there means we might not take Rio this turn. Um, that's okay, though. Uh, it would have been nice to do it just so that we could seize the Great Wall. But um, we can hug Sao Paulo perfectly fine as seen here. So we are missing this one spot, but I'm not too worried. And he will stay right where he's at. He will uh, pillage and then move... Oh, you know what? We got a shot here. I forgot. Um, we can take the city now. Alright.
Oh, are you kidding me? <sighs> okay. Well, that's quite lossy, so let's do it this way. Alright, I wish I had realized that before moving my ones around Sao Paulo, but I guess it wouldn't have changed anything, so not so bad. Anyways, let's take a moment here and look at what we got. Uh, monastery, that was no happiness, but yeah, happiness buildings, that's nice. Um, five wonders, that's going to up our faith per turn by ten. Uh, looks like there's a great work of art here by Brazil. Let's move that. And, uh, it's a public school. Nice. Some culture. Very nice. And that's a puppet. Okay. So let's go into our great works and place that someplace more to our liking. Um, Rio. Uh, we're very close to being able to fill this. Medieval Inca. Medieval Brazil. That sucks. I don't think they're allowed to be same era, are they? No. But it does mean we can trade with others once we get a third one. We can make some trades with others. So. Okay, so let the hate begin. Uh, we've fairly successfully circled Sao Paulo. Um, so I'm going to move this guy towards Poland just for the sake of... We're going to have to have spots to get our artillery in position. And our happiness is doing quite good, despite the fact that we've got so many extra cities. Alright, with the capture of Rio, we have some things to consider. Um, we got to do a road. We want to put mines on these two uranium, and we want to repair these gems. Um, looks like we've got some horses we can sell, as well as some iron. Yeah, we got lots we can do right now as far as monetary boost. So let's just look at this guy's money here real quick. Eight. Huh? He's our friend, but uh, he's not going to be able to give us anything for our luxuries, so... Almost wanted all of our iron. Or that he could afford, I should say. Um, he's not giving us a good exchange rate on horses. Salve. Consentio. Consentio. I like the sound of that. Consentio. Consentio. Um, copper. That's an easy one because we know we're teaming with copper. Let's see, 91, that's about 3. Um, so 5. That's too asking for too much. Six and nine, one. No. What was I looking at? Five, and I think it's 75. Is the normal. Um, so that's all. No, it's not all strategic. He can do strategic now. Or iron, I should say. There we go. Now we're just down to the luxuries. Our happiness is 14. We are going to conquer Sao Paulo. What does that mean? Uh, it would mean citrus, except for it's going to need repairing, and it would mean truffles, except for... Do we already have truffles? We do not. All right, so Sao Paulo will probably do fine just by capturing it. And, of course, we can restore the citrus at our leisure. Um, workers are going to be busy over here. So maybe I have one worker... <laughs> head this way, get started on the citrus since there is a traffic jam here. So this guy can come down, do roads, he can do uranium, and then the guy doing the road can do the gems, and this uranium can do that uranium, or something to that effect. Um, we've got a city with jungle tiles now, so um, maybe... <laughs> Oops! I didn't even think about that. Maybe we shouldn't have been destroying those Brazil wood camps, because we can't build them, so... Um... <laughs> Yeah, in the bright side, I mean, you can clearly see that there's, like, even with our uranium, there's going to be three left behind. So, hopefully we just benefit from that benefit from that straight out. And we do have another worker coming over, as seen here. Cool. This is a foreign legion. Um, 
Yeah, this gets us across there, so we'll come to there, I think. Because while these guys are hugging Sao Paulo, all of our infantry over here can actually start heading for Salvador. And uh, we need to get our profit over here, so that's going to take some time. You know, the extraction of our profit's another reason not to go tearing up these roads too soon. Uh, this guy's fully healed, though, so we can bring him over. Uh, perhaps this would be a good time to actually start taking our normal infantry over to the west. So once Sao Paulo is ours, we will do exactly that, because that would be the time for that, I think. And now we can take this guy and get some visibility. Uh, he can come here. Oh, he can go way over here, huh? Oh, what's his path? Oh, that's Roman territory. Hmm... I don't see a need to get open borders. I just want to get some eyes down here. Great Wall's ours now, so we should be able to move like too freely. See that? And then back up. Or we say open borders with him, come down here, and have our guy start pillaging in the background. I don't see that as being uh, all that great of a option. So let's uh, block here since it is along the road still. And he can heal up while that's still ours. Uh, we got a great general over here. The biggest interest is going to be keeping, staying out of the worker's way and keeping the artillery buffed, I think. Okay, so he can do sugar or gems. I think we should do gems first, just because we're going to get another copy of them back. In fact, I should probably have the worker do that first. It's over quick, and then come and do the roads. Or have this worker do the gems restore the iron, do this. This guy could just do the uranium and then the roads, or the road. Yeah, let's just do the road and then the uranium. And then this guy can come do gems, iron, or whatever. Plus we got more workers coming from the backfield. The road first just gets us all kinds of city connections, which is gold per turn. I think that's more important. So yeah, um, Iroquois wants gems, as does uh, him. But we can do sugar here full value. And then we can do gems up here. Almost full value. 219. Good enough. And we do have ivory as well, but let's... Uh, our happiness is fine. And our money's fine. So we just got some lump sums. We're up to 3,000 gold. Who would we take from next? Um... So they degrade at 0 0.75, 0 0.75, both have luxuries we don't need, both are at the exact same level. Um, don't really need to piss off Poland, don't really need the faith per turn. Food would be better. So let's take a, let's see, how far are you ahead? 155, okay, well that makes my decision then. We'll uh, ally that city-state. Now, ally of Manila. Okay. We could take that one also. Uh, we got ten turns until the vote, so it's not like we need him right this second. Maybe save the money to react to other people buying. Um, just a quick check. Nine turns. Elections are going to get rigged right before the revote. That's funny. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, too. Alright. Well, probably going to get our ears chewed off for this, but whatever. We'll see how it goes next turn. Okay, and just as I suspected, our faith per turn shot up. Um, I guess it's not calculated, or the UI doesn't update on mid-turn, so... Okay, we got some promotions to hand out. Good for you guys. We'll go medic since you're mounted. Uh, heal up. I thought I told you heal up last turn, but I'm guessing that was the turn we captured. So um, let's go into our cities and sell stuff. 42, 32. There it is. Um, we got a city up here. 25, 1, 10, 1. 
Wow, that works out. Every city, everything we could sell will be sold off just in time. May purchase with faith. Shanghai grows. Uh, factory. Six. Five. I don't think. Okay. Monaco searches for science. Kazizzle no longer needs my help, whatever. Venice has denounced Brazil. So people are kind of just going along with whatever we say, uh, which is nice for now. Um, when it comes time to attack Rome, I think, is when things will get a little fractured. All right, another archaeologist. Where did I send my last one? Oh, up here. Okay. Wow. Each individual turn is taking so long, it's hard to keep track of these things. All right, the Iroquois are trying to get through. And there is our blockade. Physical blockade. You'd have to go to war with us to get past it. And with Zanzibar being well populated, he would really, 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 really have to go around. So I am satisfied with all of that. <sighs> okay. Deep breaths are good. Antiquity site there, that will be within our borders, though, so there's no rush on it. We want to get ones that are near, but not in our borders, and uh, that's appearing to be something of a tall order, like this one. Maybe we should head for that one next. Um, Venice probably can't see them yet, so that would not be... that seems like a good idea. Uh, and these, this is one t way where... this is one time where I will do automated movements because uh, it's just too much to keep track of otherwise. All right. So we now have three, two out, two more coming out next turn. This might be the turn where it takes two turns. No, down to one. So we'll have five out next turn, which means that'll be the point we should probably start considering upping our slot count. Let's just take a look at this real quick. Rome, still unknown. That's unfortunate. Um, we get a we get a great work of art slot in Rio, so that's pretty nice. Because um, of a cathedral, okay, good deal. Uh, but Fort Elitza does not have one. All right. <sighs> okay, so Sao Paulo. Um, road first, yes. Um. He's coming over to the gems. He's coming over to the citrus. Which, this guy's in the way and he's not going to leave. Alright, so that's all secured. This we can go ahead and shoot at Sao Paulo. Nice. Um, from here, he'll be able to shoot at Sao Paulo. Um, we can get one more in here. Oh, how does he get there? Oh, across the river. Nice. I was hoping I could get a third one in. Okay, so we can probably just slaughter Sao Paulo next turn. Um, this guy should start heading towards Salvador. Yeah, in fact, we can do like a visibility and then back up kind of thing. Heal up one turn. This great general comes down like that. Okay, and then we got workers here. Um, he's... how far can he reach? Here? Okay. So now we have tag team action going, and there he finishes up the rail here. Okay, and then if he finishes up the rail here, all of our internal lands are rail with the exception of Costco to T1, because that's obviously going to be at a loss, and then everybody can be piling into the cities we're going to be taking and doing that, because we all of this we should re replace with rail. <clears throat> okay, he was just coming down here to rip this up, so we don't have to pay for it. Uh, Foreign Legion, so he wants to come this way.
profit is blocked. Um, if we land here, one, two, three, four, I think that's how it works, so let's just do that. One, two, three, four. Oops, I think I, uh, let me go back to him. I think I clicked on to the wrong next tile by accident. Alrighty, this guy finally gets, oh, whoa. Oh, cool, no zone of control in the water. Alright. That's good. Um, we'll just heal him one turn. Yeah. One, two. Back it up. Okay. Let me wake him back up. I don't want to be in a situation like that. Uh, as for this guy... He was mostly just holding positions for artillery to be able to get in. Uh, Sao Paulo should fall next turn. We've got three artillery facing at it and all this. So we'll just take it that way. Poland can back off and we can get on with things. <sighs> That's why I wanted him on the road so he can get over here and we can start pushing into Salvador. Nice. Okay, that is everything. And we are past the half hour mark, so I'm going to end this proper. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the show. I'm having a blast. I'm learning a lot. Um, it's very, very taxing this late in the game, though. So many decisions, so many things going on at once. Um, I think this is part of the reason why the early game appeals to me. But I'll tell you what, as I get more military experience and stuff like that, like... I'm having a ball. So, anyways, leave your comments below. Any tips, tricks? Um, I love the way you guys answer each other's questions and interact with each other, too. So, please, help each other out. Um, let's all learn together and have a good time. Anyways, uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next part. Take care.